What it do surprise Shadi Curry and her and Daisy loves. Happy Friday. I know it's late. I don't normally record this late, but I wanted to give y'all a heads up as I was coming in. I felt the Holy Spirit giving me a heads up and I wanted to share it with you. With all of my reflection the last week or so, I will admit that there is a particular pattern that I have observed over the last two years that I was going to originally tell y'all is really heartbreaking but because of how the last couple of weeks have gone I understand why God has allowed it to play out in that manner and typically I am totally caught off guard when it happens but the same tactic is always deployed when I am in this place that I'm in right now it feels familiar and I can look back and I can get a little irritated because it's like wow I had to have been right there but I didn't even understand what was happening when the enemy came in and essentially it felt like he derailed me okay and so I want to give you the heads up but like from a place of love and hope and joy and I heard humility okay if God truly sits at the throne of your heart let that be evident in your reaction and your response Bonds. And for me, oftentimes this happens because I'm actually trying to defend or protect somebody else. And then now I'm catching the heat. And then when I catch the heat, as of the last couple of years, it's been very like crippling for me. And I've even shared a video where I, I told y'all, even in the middle of a really severe Jezebel attack, right? It was like, um, it was twofold and don't let this affect your kingdom marriage but every single time it did because it makes you feel like you're unlovable that only happens when you are letting those people sit at a place of power in your mind in your heart and i watched something earlier today that's how i know god <laughs> that's, i'm like i i be wanting to act like i don't know what he's telling me but i know he's giving me a heads up when people try to bully you intimidate you i was watching a super nanny video basically and she was getting harassed terrorized by her kids but the tactic was to put the kid in the naughty corner and even when i say that you have to remember like when we when we elevate and we come into place in christ we have spiritually matured we have emotionally matured because we've spiritually matured and sometimes people around you who may who may be older who treat you like you have to you know, listen to them and do what they say and they don't have to treat you with respect and kindness because they're older. Just because they're older does not mean they're spiritually mature, okay? So that's why he could show it to me as super nanny and it was like a mom and a child. Some people are grown, but children in spirit and in truth, okay? Anywho, um, when the child that was beating her up, harassing her would try her, super nanny was like, hey, put that child in the corner. Don't even reward that child with communication back if they can they can't respect the boundary if they can't respect you and so she would put the child in the corner and then he'd be like nah and then come back out at the fool right and then she and it was wearing her down and I, I really feel like oftentimes that is why I can see because I'm so tired like I rather would just give in because I'm so tired even if I know I'm telling the truth and you're lying do you know what I'm saying? I just give in because I'm just I'm tired. You get what I'm saying? And so Super Nanny was explaining to her like, no, don't do that. You can't give up. And it was in her not giving up and continuing to stand firm. Like we said it on business, standing firm in that. Like you will treat me with respect. You will not talk to me like that. Right. It was in that. And eventually the child gave out and recognized that she had that power. This is your life. You possess that power in your own life life no matter who it is don't let somebody talk to you mishandle you mistreat you bully you harass you and you give them that power stand on the boundaries stand on the business and then they will see that you have that power in your life they cannot take that from you okay it also reminds me of those dog training videos i was watching in the season like those really aggressive dogs and that's why they have to train them i'm not saying i'm nobody's owner or anything like that but that's you know we oftentimes see jezebel as that black dog in the dreams so i just wanted to give y'all a heads up for that um it's not even so much as because it's 
like the holiday season but literally every time i was in a place of breakthrough the enemy moved through the same folks and i he can't move through them anymore he's not going to move through them anymore so if you have to i think when in the narcissist community like the therapists talk about they talk about a gray walling i don't 100 percent remember what that is but that's what i just heard so i feel like that has to be the part where you ignore them you don't reward them with communication back when they um, cross the boundary multiple times you know what I'm saying so just a heads up for that please stay focused and I don't even really be getting on here video form being like stay focused but this is really pivotal this is really crucial this is a really like memorable moment in your life why is because you're taking the power back don't let nobody talk to you crazy. Don't let nobody bully you, okay? And don't let nobody make you feel like you're not worthy of love. The only way they can do that is if you give them that power. That's a them thing. Like, all these lessons we've learned is culminating, okay? Apply them all and, and, and approach it with love and humility. Not like, need to put a muzzle on you. Not like, hey, go get in the corner for real, but... And like if if he still, if he truly sits at the throne of your heart and you really are a queen, like all these words he's been giving us, act like it. You can be humble. You can be graceful. You don't have to react. You don't have to respond. You can remove yourself, whatever you need to do. But this is a very critical moment and you need to stand in your power. In the videos that I reshared, um, it was crazy because I was really prophesying and I didn't know it. But I said, I see myself falling and embracing the fall, which is the process, right? And finding what I needed within so that I could fly. My whole life, I wanted to be able to defend myself, stick up for myself. I wondered, like, why are everybody always bullying me? Why am I always getting bullied no matter what's happening? And the truth of the matter is I was allowing people to bully me. I was allowing people to talk to me any kind of way and make me feel small, make me feel not good enough. I was allowing people to do this stuff. And it, it not even about like saying something back, but I was allowing it to affect me. Do you get what I'm saying? So if I want to raise children who do not, get bullied if i want to raise children who know how to stand up to bullying and intimidation i need to be that woman so that i can raise those type of children do you get what i'm saying so something that i needed to find in this process was my voice and how to hold my own and it makes me think of that queen Nigel song bad boy you taught me how to hold my own i find myself while holding you yeah, I had to go verify the lyrics, and that is indeed the lyrics. But that would go segue into a whole nother word, kingdom marriage word, bad boy, whether you're talking about your man, or you're talking about Jesus, even you're talking about God, because God really is a gangster, okay? And when you think about that, how that story usually plays out, in some instances in the beginning, they do have to teach her how to defend herself, how to not take nothing from nobody, but you're not finna be with no gangster and you don't know how to hold it down. You don't know how to take care of yourself. Your husband, they don't. he don't want to worry about whether or not you know how to look out for yourself do you get what i'm saying that's important and then god and like it's a test like you can think this whole time like oh oh my gosh everybody hate me that's not really what it is that's what the devil wants you to think that's playing victim right it's not that remember god is showing us what was within us god is showing us that he has given us the power and authority to tread over all of that and you don't have to absorb that you don't have to absorb anybody's projections or their misdirection because people are always going to do that it don't matter it's always going to be a test who do you serve who do you trust who do you love and if i love you if i don't speak those things about you don't let anybody else do that don't let anybody else walk all over you okay i am wholeheartedly giving y'all a heads up there have been so many times where I have got on here crying because this happened, this happened, this happened. And it was in those moments where I finally had like enough is enough. And if it's a problem we can do, that's when I always get my breakthrough. Now, I'm not saying you got to say that to nobody, but it was always like the Jezebel attacks were always so bad before things actually changed. But God has been preparing you so that it don't feel like no Jezebel attack so that you can look at it with grace, love and humility. You can recognize that's a child. Okay, you can recognize that they haven't matured spiritually or emotionally. You can recognize that it's projection. You can recognize that it's warfare. You can laugh.
laugh it off because you know he finna bless you with a blessing you ain't never seen before in a way and a magnitude that you ain't never even felt before okay so kind of all joy and don't let it get you down don't let it deter you don't let it get you to run off to a counterfeit because that has really like i'm like when i think back on the pattern it was always that jezebel moving through a family member and then it made me feel so bad and i just needed comfort so bad in that moment or whatever that i ran off to a counterfeit because it was like an immediate like I'm not as alone. You get what I'm saying? But then it was just a trick. And so now I'm just totally out of my spot and I don't know what's going on. I'm giving you a heads up. But if you really know your worth, you really are a queen, God really sits in that place in your heart, it ain't even going to be like how it's been the last few times, the last couple, few, four, five, six times that enemy didn't try it. Okay? If God be for you, who could be against you? And that's the end of it. I love y'all. I pray y'all have an amazing holiday season, okay? I don't know how many more days we got left because I feel like I say that every time we get on here. But God is showing out. He's always been showing out. He's going to continue to show out, okay? You stay down. You stay humble and try to serve others from that place. But don't let nobody try you because, no, we're not having that, okay? Bye. And I let this out, but that's why it's also very important for us to be so intentional about healing. Because if I'm being honest, all the instances... Um, and you know what, even if I go back like beyond the last three years, like even in the beginning when I first had walked away, um, I was being bullied so bad. But anyways, um, it all used to take me back to my childhood trauma. And now that I'm really getting all those feelings up and out of me, like what you gonna trigger if there's nothing there to trigger if I've really gave that to God if I've really sat with him if I've allowed him to tell me the truth concerning it his truth right and that was something that I had made or typed last week gaslighting only works if the truth is absent or if you hold the opinion of somebody else higher than you do God's right that's the only way gaslighting works and so I'm in a place where I feel like I'm unlearning years of emotional abuse but also just tolerating the enemy tolerating Jezebel in any capacity whether it was bullying or me being over there yoked up and didn't know you get what I'm saying so it's kind of like once the truth comes in ain't no need to fear the devil baby when God shows up amen like I've been on that heavy but it's really hard. Like, you're not finna lie to me about who I am. You're not finna lie in my face about what just happened, what you just said, all that. Like, and it's okay to know the truth and you just sit with that internally and don't try to fight with people, right? Like, because queens don't do that. That's not how we move. But, yeah, so just heal because the enemy just be trying to trigger trauma, okay? And if you deal with your trauma, he cannot trigger your trauma. But sometimes God allows them to trigger it so it can come up. And now you now you up and now you better, right? So heads up.